I would say like there is no label or definition of success according to me. It's like okay, like you have come to this planet and you have to do something and you have to consistently do it. From base to the highest level, the course was very structured. And before joining programming parcel, like I was good at problem solving, but my thinking was not very broad. I would say. Welcome back to another episode of Success Stories with Programming Parcelala, and today we are going to talk about our student Ankit, who has been placed at Microsoft as an SDE. Uh, his story is full of motivation and inspiration that I'm really sure every one of you must be able to relate very much. He has also faced. Um, many months of unemployment like we go through he has also gone gone through hardships like many of us go through and finally landing at microsoft he has worked with he has worked as a freelancer he has worked with many he has worked with a startup and he then he finally landed into his dream organization uh, however he does not call it success because for him success is what can never be driven and you cannot give one thing the name of success So let's get to know more about it, and let's get to know more about the culture or his working at Microsoft, and pull up our socks to be better and fulfill our dreams as well. And I guess let's get into the video. Okay, great. So um, I guess let's begin with your introduction. I am from Bhagalpur, Bihar. I have done my engineering from Pesit South Campus, Bangalore, in the field of information science and engineering. So after completing my college, I was like jobless for about six to seven months. So I started getting tense. If I was not having any job, my friends started their work. They were started earning money. They started learning new new things. But like I was not having any job, so like I was very depressed, or like maybe you can say I was very low at some point of time. but then i started like searching for some of the opportunities like where i can get to contribute or work for, for any any company or any small project also so that at least i should start gaining some experience how the things work in the it industry okay. so i just contacted my one of my friend i asked him like if there is some project like in which i can help him contribute to him so he was doing freelancing and at that, that time so he just gave me one of the project so Like normally, like if you will see when you are in college, like what we learn is completely different from what we do in the normal day-to-day life in IT industry. Right. So normally, in like right. college, you do competitive coding and all those things. A problem statement is given, like you just solve it, and that's what we do in college mostly. Yeah, we build some of the small projects, but that is not at the enterprise level. That what company is currently doing. Right. You will see. Yeah. So that time, like when I got the project, like it was like little bit difficult for me, but my friend helped me in that journey. So from there, like I landed a job in a startup, and in that startup only two people were there. So and we have to build a product from the scratch. So that was like very very difficult for any of the fresh freshers. You can see there only two people were there in the company. So we started building the product. and uh, i was like very new to this industry at that point of time so i was not having a lot of knowledge so i started exploring things started googling things like how the product is built how we can build a product which can be used for a longer duration of time so i have built a product for a startup from scratch and that too at a very uh, that too like i would say like that was a very good product considering i am a fresher so i started feeling very confident so whenever like i started applying for jobs after that so in whichever interview i went i was very confident about myself okay like if i get this job i will get whatever the work is given to me i will get it done that's not a problem for me yeah. so that confidence has helped me land a job in siemens after that and in siemens also like i had a very very amazing learning experience so in startup like mostly i was working with the colleagues from india but in siemens one of the great thing that happened to me like i started interacting with the shareholders so that has helped me a lot of things especially from the customer point of view because shareholders are the first point of contact whom customer contacts and they have a very very good knowledge like what customer is expecting and after some point of time i felt like i am not learning something new because i already told in the beginning for me like to be interested in doing anything like i should be thrown with challenges like right. even a small challenge is there in day to day life but some challenge should be there if you are not finding any challenge 
like that is not interesting to me. Mm-hmm. So then like I started exploring for opportunities, but uh, when I applied for for this fan companies, I started getting rejected from all these companies because like I was not having very a good understanding about the DS, DSL go and the system design, whatever is expected out of a software engineer in this fan company. Right. So then I crossed the path with some of the guy like who told me about the Vivek sir. Like he's a very amazing teacher and like the way he's explaining like anyone like even a layman can understand that. Then I thought okay like let me check about him. So suddenly like after a few days I saw a notification on my LinkedIn like that same guy liked about the programming parts like so I just applied for the course like okay I just enrolled in this course and I will learn from him and then I will see like what I can do in the future. Amazing. So that's so that's how like I landed in programming partsala and after coming over here like it was like very very amazing journey with Vivek, yeah. Anu, Bharat and like even at the end Deepak also joined for teaching system design so that was like very great, great experience. Amazing and you know your story is also so it's so much motivating that all the phases that you have went through there are so many phases that you have went through to after land, like eventually landing in Microsoft so like even okay I have landed in Microsoft so that does not mean like I am successful like I have achieved what I wanted to achieve mm-hmm. but like okay like from here also like I have to learn a lot of things I have to do a lot of things in my career so I guess uh, our viewers would be more than interested to know so for you what does success mean actually I would say like there is no level or definition of success according to me. It's like okay, like you have come to this planet and you have to do something and you have to consistently do it. Like it's not like okay, I have done it today, tomorrow I won't do it or day after tomorrow I won't do it. So it's like okay, every day like you should push yourself, you should work hard towards your goal. And that's what a success is. Like it's a never ending process according to me. Like it's not like okay, you have achieved something, you should stop over there. You should like just keep on keep, keep on like Yeah. Share yeah. some of your insights with programming Parshala and, and the course here. How did you feel about the course? How were your problem solving skills before and after joining us? Like if you like start from YouTube or any other platform, it's not like in a structured way. And what I really liked about the programming Parshala was like the course was like very structured. It was a duration of six months, but it was like in a very structured way. Like they started from the very basics. Like even a newbie who is who is not into programming or he is from any different background. So from the basic, they started and slowly, 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 they helped you build build yourself in problem solving skills. So that is what I really liked about programming parts. Like from base to the highest level, the course was very structured. And before joining programming Barcelona, like I was good at problem solving, but my thinking was not very broad, I would say. Yeah. Like mostly whenever a problem statement was thrown to me, I used to think in a linear, linear, like only one approach used to come to me and that too in a linear way. It was not like okay, for any problem there are multiple solutions. For sure. Like any if you are in contact with a problem, there would be n number of solutions. So that is what has helped me in my interviews, whatever I have given or like, like even now also like even after joining Microsoft. So I feel like whatever is thrown to me, like I have different approaches to sort approaching a problem. So yeah. that is what I really liked about it. Many times it was like I used to sit at one or two at night and used to solve the problems. Right. So even at two o'clock, if I used to ping Bharat or Vivek, like anyone would be online for sure and like within some amount of time like 5-10 minutes or half an hour they will like just help me or ping me okay like okay I am looking at your solution what you are doing wrong what you are doing right so that was that I really liked the most and especially if I will talk about Anup Bhaiya what I liked about him like he's a very mod- motivational person I would yeah. say so many a times Anup Bhaiya came between the classes and he started motivating the people all, all the students who were there yes. so it was like, like uh, I was really really thankful to all this, all all the people in programming Patsala for like boosting my confidence and helping me in whichever way I can. Amazing. We are, we are very happy for you today. And it makes us feel so proud that you are also happy with us. Any uh, any special memory you have during the course? Anything that you would like to share during your six months? Like during a time during the course, once like uh, I had a very difficult time in my life like my grandmother was very sick 
okay. and i was not able to attend the classes and solve solve the problems so i started lagging behind in the course so i talked to bharat like what should i do like i am feeling very low and i think i am like very left behind in the course and even i am a working professional so taking extra time out of those it is very very difficult for me but the way he has motivated me and he has guided me i would say through my complete journey that is the most memorable thing that's very overwhelming that's that's really great and you could at you could actually push yourself even in those times to you know get up from your bed and you know, just forget everything and just start working on yourself all the shows a lot and a lot of courage what what would you say has been your key to success in this journey like never giving up never giving up so even like during my low times or high times like i never gave up gave up and i was very confident about myself like when started solving problems I was able to solve it. I started feeling more confident. Okay, like I am able to solve the problem. Okay, like there would be times like if you are low, you might not be pushing yourself. It's okay. Like you can take a day or two off and just pull back, pull yourself up, and then start working towards your goal. Like I myself follow this quote of never giving up or being consistent with whatever I might be going or doing. It's like two things that they don't give up and always be consistent. Whatever you're doing in life, and they, that will land you at such great places you will never know about. It has been lovely having a word with you, Ankit. I have loved every bit of this conversation. You have been so motivational towards all of our students, and I believe everyone who might be watching this video will be feeling overwhelmed with all the information that you have given and all the guidance that we have got through you. Before you leave, you any parting words? for our budding software development engineers they like concentrate on the basics like in today's world most of the software engineers feel okay ai is going through cloud is going through so just people start running behind all the buzzwords in the market that is currently going so like you should never ever like run or move towards the buzzwords you should start concentrating on building your basics if you are very good with the basics like you will definitely like Uh, be able to solve the AI problems as well, or whatever you want to do in your career, you will be able to solve it. Great. So with this, I would say goodbye, and it has been a lovely having a word with you. And thank you so much for giving me your time, Ankit. You have been so motivational and inspirational for all of us. I would say I should be thankful to the programming part, Sala, for helping helping me throughout my journey.